Well, here's an update. I spent a few days with family, and uh, now I'm making a mad dash to Texas because I didn't, I didn't quite figure the distance right. I thought it was gonna be two days. It's more like three. <clears throat> so. Stopped off in Yuma and woke up at 1.30. I think I get a little bit of sleep after that. But uh, left there by 4.30. I uh, kind of pulled over here very shortly after that just to have some breakfast and kind of look at the, the morning sky. But check this out. Not a bad view. And it heads off to a uh, power distribution area over here. But also goes into this wonderful little sunrise behind that truck. <laughs> You know what's funny? I started this trek um, really cold every night, right? It's hot. I mean, it's not very hot, but it's hot. It's icky. It's whatever. And it'll get hotter later in the year, but I won't be here. <clears throat> oop, 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 oop. So I drove from 0430 on the California Arizona uh, border and then 12 hours maybe 12 hours of driving later um, I'm in Las Cruces and it's a little warm and I really hope I don't get the knock it's always about the knock you know you're in the middle of the night you're asleep whatever somebody comes knocking or not. For instance, last night I think I was in El Centro and at a truck stop. <clears throat> and I kept hearing somebody trying to open the doors or, you know, checking out my rig and it was all in my head. <sighs> my uncle says, stay on the pavement, stay safe. I'm like, I would rather be out in the middle of nowhere. If somebody shows up, that one set of footsteps is easily discerned from the the general, you know, background noise as opposed to everyone's walking around, you don't know if anybody's hanging out. Some people like these cities because there's lots of people around and, and more people to, to possibly get help from, but here's the thing, people don't help. For the most part, when someone hears, help me, help me, help me, um, you're not likely to get any help. Not as a man. So, you gotta take your own precautions and figure it out for yourself. Well, shoot. Um, they say the transmission is fried somewhere in Texas, and what little money I had has been completely bled off. Tow truck and the mechanic, initial mechanic check. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. I'm waiting on the, uh, uh, the bank to give me an approval on, on the next loan so that I can figure out what the hell I'm doing. I think I may end up just, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, what do you say?